Larry Bell has had a lifelong interest in exploring the particular fascination of light, or rather the visual characteristics of light on a surface. Larry Bell is best known today for his iconic glass cube sculptures, which are fascinating examples of this study. The transparent cubes slowly reveal poignant experiences to the viewer, while at first appearing stoic and austere. The simple geometric sculptures offer a kinesthetic experience as one moves around them and sees illusory forms appear and disappear within the cubic volume. Other artists associated with light and space, such as Robert Irwin and James Turrell, share Bell's desire to manipulate the viewer's perception. Bell's legacy, however, is not only material but also conceptual. Indeed, his pursuit of industrial materials represents a rejection of art as object, a dominant theoretical foundation of minimalism in favor of art as experience. For the artist, the use of glass, mirror, metallic film and paper was a means to an end rather than an end in itself. These are materials through which Bell interacts with his primary medium, light, allowing him to convey this experience to the viewer. Larry Bell is one of the pioneering artists who helped establish the modern avant-garde art scene in Los Angeles. With a solo exhibition in 1962, he became the youngest artist to be accepted by the legendary Ferris Gallery. Art critic Philip Later would later give the gallery's artists the nickname The Cool School, describing the group as having a collective hatred of the superfluous. Larry Bell's sculptures exemplify the stark appearance of abstraction and minimalism, but create a distinctly different experience. Bell's glass sculptures appear ephemeral, constantly changing in response to their surroundings and the movement of the viewer around the piece. As a result, the artwork itself is not the real subject, but rather the way it changes the light. The artist is sometimes linked to the Finnish fetish art movement. This style, also known as the yellow look, is characterized by pristine surfaces, the application of fabrication techniques and the use of new materials that are inspired by Southern California popular culture like cars, surfing and sunshine. If you liked the video, leave us a like and feel free to share it. Subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching, see you soon on Art Theory.